one thing I could say with certainty is I've been up in Jerome many times and I never get tired of this town. It's just to me a very fascinating old ghost town. It's just full of history. And that's why I'm up here this evening is I'm going to try to get some uh, low light photography with uh, my camera and see what we can get. But of course we're going to be doing dinner. Right now I'm waiting on uh, my buddy to show up here. He lives here. He actually commutes to Prescott. He's a young engineer. And he lives up here and we're going to get together and uh, do a bit of a walkabout. Go to the spirit room, see what's playing there and uh, see what kind of low light photographs I can get. certainly hope you enjoyed that short presentation about my Friday evening visit in Jerome because right now what I want to do is take a few minutes to talk to you about an upcoming event uh, it's April 28th or the end of the the last Sunday in the month of April and what it is and I wrote down my notes it's the worldwide pinhole photography day it's international and it's on April 28th, 2024. Now, the reason why I want to talk to you about it is I had decided to build, for the first time, I had never done this before, to build a pinhole camera. It's in the works. I have it right here. It's a T10. As you can see, there's my, my shutter should be able to see the, oh, somewhere right there, right there is the pinhole. I don't recall what f-stop it is. Uh, I did some calculation to find out, primarily for the uh, exposure, exposure setting. Got a couple of things to get done on this camera. The next episode, on April 28th, I plan to have this set up, and I'm gonna take a pinhole photograph from a pinhole camera if it all works out right from a pinhole camera I built from scratch I want to thank all the subscribers who subscribe to my channel and until the next time which would be April 28th when I do the pinhole photograph we'll catch you later